Happy 4th of July. This is Jane and welcome to the cabin. Today I'm at the cabin and 4th of July is here and I don't want to spend a lot of time in the in the kitchen again. So what I did is I came up with an idea that I'm going to surf on the boat when we get on the boat and we do some boat cruises today. Anyway, what I did is I started off with a cheese spread and it's in a garlic herb flavor. So that's where I start off with on the cheese board. Now I will tell you, there is no rule when it comes to making a cheese board. You can make it as small as you want. You can make it as big as you want. You can put whatever cheese you want on there, fruit, anything. The only rule there is, make sure you bring color into it because a lot of cheeses are white and we gotta bring some color into it to really make it a wow for your guests, right? So what I did is I put some of my favorite cheeses together and I'm gonna show you how to put it on. Belgioso Gorgonzola Blue Cheese. Now blue cheese happens to be one of my absolute favorites and I always buy two of these and I'll show you why. First of all, I want that look of a wedge, right? So I'm gonna put that there. Then what I do is I purchase the second one so that I can crumble it up. The next cheese, Swiss. And this is a baby Swiss, so I'll just set it here for right now. Now Brie has got a skin on it. Yes, you can eat that skin. You don't have to, but you can. And you can see right now I've got a lot of white going on here. This is where I've got to bring in um, items to bring that color out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some cheddar cheese. And I cube those up give it a little different dimension. Okay, then at Coburn's and Marketplace, we now have a new item. It's prosciutto, and then there is mozzarella cheese wrapped in there. So you can see the color is starting to take place. I wanna bring in some fruit, and I love grapes, just to give it that extra color. So I'm putting that in there. I'm gonna put some fig in there, fit my honey in here. So I've got this right here. I marinated, I love Belgioso uh, pearl mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. It's fantastic. This I've got to show you because I get more people ask me, what kind of cheese is this? And it's actually, it's called Ski Queen. It's a goat cheese. And it looks like, it actually looks like caramel. Another thing I want to bring in, and I'm going to get just a spoon for this, this is fruit paste. And now I want to bring some apples in, but I don't want them that, you know, to get real brown. So what I did is I put some water in, cut up my apples, put some water in, and then I put some of this in and let it soak. And what it does is it stops that brown browning from happening. Another cheese that I absolutely love, I just had to tell you about, is Costello Gouda which I'll put in here too, but I want to get the fillers in. So what I did is I've got some green olives and they're stuffed with garlic. So we're going to add those. Oh, let's put some here. Then we're going to add some dried apricots. As I'm doing this, more and more color is appearing. Lamata olives, we'll get some in there. You got to have those. We'll stick those in here. Walnuts, almonds. Another item I want to showcase is the fresh mozzarella. You can also buy this. Uh, Belgioso has it, and it's actually pre-sliced, so you can stick that into your cheese tray. Okay, now what I'm going to do, my last move, is to add some greenery. So what I did is I just bought some, don't have to do it, but I added some fresh rosemary and I'm just gonna stick those wherever I think they look good. And it just gives it dimension, it gives it color. And this, like I said, it took me, what, five minutes to put this together? But it looks like a million bucks. And there again, here's some cheese that I wanna showcase from Belgioso, all three. You don't wanna get a strong flavor cracker, you wanna get like a water cracker. It's, it's a plain cracker, but that's okay because you want, it's all about the cheese. You want to taste the cheese. So that's what I did. I served it with um, water crackers and then 
here is another one of my favorite wines. It's called Josh, and we all love the Josh. This one is great, and it is uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head outside to the bar area by the water, and I have got a delicious summer drink I wanna share with you, and it is so refreshing, and it's gonna go great. Like I said, you can have with wine, or you can have the lemonade, and we'll have a great time. We'll see you soon. It's the best part of the day. It's happy hour, and now the party's getting closer. But I want to share one of my favorite drink recipes with you. It's called Lynchburg Lemonade. And actually, it's named after Lynchburg, Tennessee, and that's the hometown of where Jack Daniels Distillery is. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a glass. We're going to put about one and a half ounces of Jack Daniels in here. And I'm telling you what, be careful, don't put too much in. <laughs> It'll surprise you later. Then I'm gonna add an ounce of triple sec. And then one of the things you can do is you can buy lemonade in the store, but I love fresh lemonades. So what I did is I just squeezed an ounce of lemonade, fresh lemonade in there. And now I'm just gonna add my lemon lime soda. And I'm gonna get it strong. We'll mix that up. And you can make it as a glass, you can make it as a pitcher, just depending on how many people you're gonna come have come over. And ooh, fresh lemonade. There is a perfect drink. Now I'm gonna run and get the meat and cheese tray, and then the party's gonna start. Now, my favorite item on this tray has got to be the blue cheese. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna take a chunk of the blue cheese, and this is where the honey comes in, and I drizzle some honey over the top of it. It just, the honey with the blue cheese just really pairs really well. And then, I always like to add a little piece of walnut on here. That one has to be my favorite out of everything, but there isn't anything I don't like on here. Let the party begin. Mm. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. 